Mommy here today to do a bag review for all of you. So I know, for those of you who have been here before, this is the fourth Portland Leather Goods video to go up in a very short period of time. But that's because, you guys, I need to move on to some other content. So this beauty right here, this is the Mini Crossbody Tote in Nutmeg. So it's by Portland Leather Goods. And again, it is the Mini Crossbody Tote in the leather color and type Nutmeg. Now. If you watched my unboxing video, so I did a mystery box unboxing and this bag was in there. And after that, I got some requests to go ahead and pack it up. People wanted to see how I'd pack it up because you guys know I love a big bag. I am a big bag kind of gal. Most of my bags are very, very large, but every once in a while I step out of my comfort zone and I pack up a little bag. So some of you wanted to see that. Now I have been carrying this bag since I got it. I packed it up that night after I unboxed it from the mystery unboxing. And again, for those of you who've been here for a while, you guys know my mom is very, very sick. We go to the doctor many times a week. And so this bag has gone with us to all of the recent doctor's appointments. So I have been using it. Um, and you can kind of see too that it's starting to get some character from me using it as well. I love that about this bag. So one of the reasons I started looking at Portland Leather Goods is because their leather is ethically sourced. So what that means is that their, their leather that they use is a byproduct of the U.S. beef industry. So none of the animal is being wasted, so leather that would just normally be discarded, they're going ahead and they're using for their bags. Another thing that I really, really like about the company is the fact that when you get pebbled leather and with Portland Leather Goods, their smooth leather is a much stiffer structure leather than their pebbled leather. The pebbled leather is much more squishy, much more supple, which is what I prefer, but with full grain leather. So this is a full grain oil tanned leather. So it is full grain. It's the highest quality leather you can get. Uh, some companies will go ahead and stamp in the pebbling. So when you get pebbled texture, it's because they've taken the stamp and they stamp that into the leather. This is tumbled leather. So when you get a tumbled leather to get the pebbling, it's not always uniform. Some parts can be smoother than others. And I love that. I love the variation. I love the characteristics. So this again is a full grain, oil tanned, tumbled, pebbled leather. So good, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on in like I normally do. Let's talk about the outside of the bag a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and jump on into the inside of the bag. So what you're gonna notice about the outside here is that there is one pocket. So it is a slip pocket and it does say Portland Leather Goods. So it is heat stamped into the leather. And that is the only place I believe in this particular bag that you do see their logo. Then you have two little grab handles right here. And this also fits over the crook of my arm pretty nicely. I don't know if I can do that from this angle here. So you can see I'm kind of an awkward angle here, but I can slip it over really easy when I'm not kind of sitting awkwardly. And when you turn the bag around to the back side, you'll notice there's nothing on the back. And there's nothing on the bottom. There's no feet on this bag. Now this is their crossbody tote. So what that means is it does have a removable strap. It is adjustable. And this strap adjusts from 38 to 45 inches. Um, I'm five foot three, five foot three and a half. And this is a crossbody length that's great for me if I wear a crossbody right here. Now this strap is removable. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out, take it off for the purpose of this video and so you can see the hardware. On swivel clips and their leather you guys if you're not familiar with portland leather goods their leather smells so beautiful i will go ahead and put a playlist up in the icards above and down in the description box below for anybody who wants to watch any of my other portland leather goods videos as well as the unboxings now if you wanted to use a different strap than the one that comes with this bag, there are the two D-rings on the inside of the bag. And what I really like about that is that you can, you know, obviously attach another strap, but if you didn't want to use a strap, if you just wanted to carry it like this, you don't have the D-rings kind of hanging out on the side, you can hide them. So I really do like that feature. I'm gonna start unpacking the bag. This front pocket here, like I said, is just a slip pocket. So there's no internal organization. And this is where I put some quick grab items. So I have an N95 mask for the hospitals. I have some alcohol pads to wipe off my phone. I have a boogie wipe and I have, it should be another one in here too. Yeah, I try to carry two of these Purell singles with me. I love these, they're super thin and it's kind of the perfect amount of hand sanitizer when you need some in a pinch. I usually keep a pen in here, yep. So this is one of my favorite pens right now. It's a zebra pen and it is a fully extendable pen. Love it. And that's it for this pocket. 
Now I want to show you the inside of the bag. This bag is very, very full. And what you'll see, a couple things I want to show you is that you're seeing the inside of the leather. Now a lot of people call this suede, but this is the unfinished side of the leather and it's beautiful. It's super soft. It's gorgeous. It feels a lot like suede, but it's the unfinished side of the animal. And this bag closes with a snap closure. So I want to show you this bag is super full. I'm an overpacker. I don't normally use little bags. I've got everything I needed in here and I can easily, you guys, snap it shut. So this is what it looks like snap shut. So if I wanted a little bit more security, I could go ahead and snap it shut. But before I pull anything out, let's go ahead and look at the inside of the bag. So right here on top, I have a tangle. And you guys hear me talk about Nicole, who's Low Happy Mom. She's one of my best friends and she's on YouTube and TikTok, Instagram, all the places. And she just got her first tangles. I love mine. It reminded me to kind of throw it in the bag. I have a lot of anxiety around a lot of things that are happening in my life right now. And this is just such a great little thing. It feels really good. It's easy to clean. Um, it's just, it's amazing. I do have a whole series on TikTok about sensory and fidget toys. If you're interested, and again, I will look, link my TikTok down in the description box below for anybody who wants a lot of interesting information about sensory and anxiety toys, fidgets. Now the next thing that's in the bag right here is my pen roll. This is a little roll from Etsy that I got and it just holds some um, highlighters, some correction tape, my Hobonichi pen from this last year. And this is what the bag looks like now. So sitting here right in the front right here, this is, came out of the same mystery box that this beautiful tote came out of. This is the Portland Leather Goods Passport Holder in Grizzly. So this leather is called Grizzly and it's smooth. This is their smooth leather. And again, this is their pebbled leather. So again, this is a passport holder, but thanks to 2020, 2021, I'm not going anywhere. We're not traveling. I turned this into my medical um, planner for my mom. So normally here I keep uh, her oncologist and some other um, medical cards. So they're business cards for her physicians I took out just for the video. And in here I keep my vaccination cards. And then here I have our planner that has only her medical information. So this is just her medical visits. And then I have a little Ollie clip on top there. I love the all eclipse, you guys. I don't know why I'm showing you this because I feel like if I don't, you guys are gonna ask me, but these are the best little magnets. But if any of you have a passport holder and you're not traveling and you have a Hobonichi supplemental uh, book, it, I mean, it fits great, you guys. I mean, it, it fits absolutely amazing in here. And this is what the bag looks like now. So sitting right here, I have a rough and tumble pouch that has my time of the month supplies in it. And then what just fell over right here. So I saw this from my friend Nicole again, who's a little happy mom. She showed it to me. And this is a great little thing. It's a three in one, so it's a flashlight. It's a USB charger, so you can charge your phone. And it's a fan. And you guys, I don't know about where you guys are at, but it's been over 100 degrees the last several days, maybe going on a week and a half now here where I live. Over 100 degrees every day. No one's got time for that. I'm trying to be careful so nothing falls over. This is what the bag looks like now. So sitting right here, I have another rough and tumble pouch. This has some things that I might need while we're out and about. I have just a chapstick lip gloss kind of situation, dental floss, migraine medication, a mirror, that kind of stuff. I used to carry makeup with me, but now that I have a mask on my face all the time, I don't really feel the need to do that anymore. So then standing right here, I have a Dagny Dover card case, and this is what I'm using as my wallet right now. It's got a beautiful magnet on it. And again, I'm just using this as my wallet. Let me scooch this over here a little bit so you can maybe see inside the bag without me um, pulling anything out. So this is kind of what it looks like now. So right here I have a Purell hand sanitizer because, you know, pandemic. And then here on the side right here, if you can see in here, I have one of my favorite hand creams of all time. This is the Tubby Todd Oliver Ointment. It's not necessarily a hand cream, it's for your whole body, but I love it. So don't forget to check the description box below, you guys, because I do have a lot of discount codes down in there, a lot of links where you can save some money on some of the things that you may see if you want inside this bag. Then right here I have a pack of masks, see masks, these are the kid-sized masks in case my girls are with me and they need a mask. 
You guys, if you have not seen these masks, these are the most comfortable, best disposable masks. And I can tell you, as a person who spends upwards of 15 to 20 hours a week in a hospital, um, these amazing. And the very last thing that I have in this bag, so you can see in here, is our snack pouch. So this becomes a very important thing. Uh, one, because my mom needs to eat during treatments because sometimes I'm with her for hours I need to eat or the girls are with me. And a lot of you have asked, you know, my pouches range in price. Some of my pouches are $2 and some of my pouches are $120. So some of you have asked recently to see some lower cost pouches. This one's from Target. Um, I heard about this from Nicole again, who's Hello Happy Mom, and from Ashley, who's Gator Mom. They're both on YouTube, all over social media. They're really good friends of mine. And Ashley's actually the first one that found these. These are made by Post-It. That's right, Post-It brand. And they're at Target, and I want to say they're $5. And they come in a bunch of different colors. My son stole the blue one. I have this one, and I have a pink one. It's like red and pink, I think. Um, they're just, they're really good quality. It's not super thick plastic, but it's thick enough. The zippers are great. So if you're looking for a really nice clear pouch that's not going to break the bank, you guys, Target. And again, it's made by Post-It. And in here, I mean, look at all these snacks I have in here. And I'm going to pull them out just because I'm going to do it real quick because you guys always want to know what snacks I have. So I'm going to put this on fast forward just so you guys can see it. Oh, and because I didn't mention that I said everything there was food, this is actually a reusable straw. So this is extendable straw. So it's a straw. And there's a cleaner. So it's my extendable straw with a little cleaner. Okay, now that this bag is fully empty, I wanna go ahead and give you a nice shot of what the inside of the bag looks like. So again, you're seeing this beautiful unfinished leather in here. It feels very suede-like. It's not suede, but it is the unfinished side. And it's just such a great little bag. And again, you're seeing the D-rings in there. And then you can see the seam. So this is two pieces of leather that are sewn together. You can see the seam at the bottom and then the seam on the underside. But I mean, you guys, look at how, like, I mean, this bag is just, like, it's so soft and supple and squishy and slouchy. And I love that. But if you wanted a firmer, more structured bag, you would want to go with their unpebbled, their smooth leather. So, again, if you wanted a more structured leather, you want to go with something like this. This is their grizzly color. And, again, it's the firmer, smoother leather. And it's a beautiful, deep chocolate brown. It's beautiful. If you want a dark, dark, deep chocolate brown and, like, the pebbled color, get cold brew. I need, I need cold brew in my life, you guys. I need a huge oversized tote and cold brew. That is my next color from them. But if you're not into the pebble, this is another way to get that nice, beautiful, dark chocolate leather. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.